Hey guys, I can't believe we have to go over this again, but today we are going to be again talking about what a badass Harry Winnington is. I know, I know. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do, you know, because it's like, obviously... Everything this guy touches is gold, and there's just not enough people reading it, so we have to sit here and beat this drum to make sure people know of the ledge that is the wit. Um, so this book, Brute and Brass, uh, Mike Ballard is the name of this vice cop who um, is kind of he's probably the kind of cop you would like to be he's a good guy but he's also a bad guy if you know what I mean so this book is about this guy who's going to get the chair um, for a murder that he says he didn't commit. And he wants Mike to take care of it and find out who really killed this chick. And Mike doesn't know why this guy wants him to look into it. And he's like, because you were the only guy who treated me with respect through this whole thing, like through getting arrested, through my trial, you were the only person who seemed to, you know, just treat me as a human. And Mike Ballard's like, I just didn't give a shit. I just treated you however I needed to treat you at the time because I was going to finish up what I was doing and then I was going to go home and have something to eat. Cause I don't give a fuck. And so like this whole thing is like, you treated me so good. And he's like, no, I just don't care. And so that whole thing's going on while this is going on. We find out that Mike is also, um, on the take with, um, some big gangster in town. And, um, he wants, Mike to keep the heat off, but it turns out that somehow, somewhere, somebody found out that Mike was on the take at the station. So now there's an investigation going on, which does not make the people who are paying him to keep the heat off. It's not making them too happy. So Mike has to decide um, what to do here and how to go about this. While all this is going on, um, the wife of the guy who's in prison about to get the chair comes to Mike to plead with him to help her husband. Now there's other stuff that Mike has going on that makes this whole thing strange and weird. Um, and exciting, and, like, it's just paced perfectly, plotted perfectly, um, I, I don't know how else to describe this to you guys. Harry Winnington writes perfect books, gets away with it, and then vanishes into thin air. So, um, we gotta fix that. So, give it a go.